The Nigerian Pitbull Efe Tobo Opochi I would love to get the opportunity to get in there and um make a fool of this guy. He said he's gonna make a fool of me. I can I can assure you, you are gonna make things worse for bulletproof. Fuck all that shit. I promise you, this fucking chin is gonna taste all this shit he's been talking about. You know, already punching crews away, this and that, blah 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 blah. You ready? Aaron Cantu, FightHype.com, Airshow Sports. With F.A., the Nigerian pit bull of Pochi. 11 and low, 11 knockouts. He's going to take on undefeated cruiserweight Brandon Glanton in a showdown, co-main event, the Armory, next Sunday, man. F.A., how you feeling, man? It's a big fight. I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great, as always. All day, every day, strong. I'm feeling strong. I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm relaxed. You know, I don't have a problem, no anxiety, nothing. I'm just cool, you know. For me, it's a, it's a stay-ready fight for me, you all know. It's not like it's a, it's some type of big fight. I know he's undefeated. Yeah, of course it's championship. Somebody's all gotta go. But you know, for me, it's just, it's just another knockout. You know, like I always say to the people, it's, it's another knockout, and uh, you are gonna see it. You know, I speak, I talk, I think, I am. You know, and that's me. Anything I say is what I will do. You're fearless, man, and you reap a lot of confidence. But let me just present this, and I know, obviously, you're very confident you're going to win. You know, is there any chance that you might be overlooking, Brandon? No. No chance at all. I, like, I, I, he's my, he, he, he's my friend. I know him. We chat sometimes even before this day. So I, I know people, you know, from, from the word. You see the word where Jesus, when Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of his mouth. When you talk, I already know you. I already know who you are. I already know what you're thinking. You know, and besides, in the Cruiserweight division, I've looked at everybody. Nobody's in my level. Nobody's in my league in this Cruiserweight division. I'm not talking about muscle. I'm talking about consciousness. This is thinking. I don't see anybody, you know, go with me 10 round, 12 round, with a 10 hands glove. Impossible. So, F.A., you think that you're more skilled than Brandon? You obviously believe you're quicker and, and the power's there. Of course. You think you're all, just in every aspect of the fight, you're better than him. Listen to this word. He's nowhere close to my shoe. It's not in my level. It's, it's, not, it's not even here. It's not in my level. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm bigger. What's up, champ? Hey, I'm good, bro. I'm bigger than him. I'm bigger than him. I'm stronger than him. I'm faster than him. And uh, I've been in this game more experience you know i've done it in and out the amateur days i came from a place where there's no opportunity africa you know i struggled all my life you know i fought so hard you know i've been consistent i've been focused and this this is my life nobody can take this from me man think about this i crossed all that ocean all that sea you know just to just to come here for this thing and one brandon guy is just going to take it away from me just like that it's impossible Think about this thing. It's not, this is not running your mouth now. This is reality. You know, I got this. Man. Okay, hey, but let me let me pr present this. I know you you are confident. You know you're gonna win. And but uh, let's be real. Uh, Fa, a hungry fighter is a dangerous fighter. You don't agree with that? And one thing I do know is Brandon. He's hungry. Yeah, sometimes we say we're hungry, but well, what is hungry? Hungry for food? Hungry for what? For his livelihood. His livelihood. I, I, this is boxing. It's a hurting man game. People just talk. You see all the. You see. I don't want to mention him, but you see people. People just talk and say, "Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, we're grinding. Oh, it's easy to post on social media. It's easy to talk. But when you step in the ring with the Nigerian people, oh my God! 
<laughs> I don't know how to explain this until you see it. And I'm telling you now, I can't listen wait. to this. You gotta on, on see the 27th, it. On Sunday 27th, this June, you will see the result of everything I've been trying to tell you. Sometimes words don't teach. You need to have your own experience in order for you to understand this knowing. So on that day, the experience will be yours. You'll see it. You're going to experience it. I'm intrigued by this fight, Efe Tobar, because... You made it happen. You spoke this fight to existence. <laughs> you caused this fight to it. <laughs> Definitely. But you know why? Enjoy. Because I believe Brandon is a game fighter and could quite possibly be your toughest opponent to no, date. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. This is, this, is, this is not a head guard. This is not a 16 hands glove. It's not an 18 hands glove. This is 10 hands glove and this is no head guard. It's not. It's not dangerous. It's just, you know, he's athletic. Okay, he, he was he was, he was a, a football player. It's okay, but this is boxing. You know, this is boxing when they punch you in the computer. 